Complexion Two steps, two steps Complexion don't mean a thing Hey y'all, it's me, PrettyWitty77, and welcome back to The Deep Can Dish, where we get the dish on hip-hop and pop culture every week, every week, while we deep condition our hair at the same time. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you're new here, or you just came back to my channel multiple times, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like you might as well get this tea weekly. <laughs> It's been really fun keeping up with it all year. So, also, if you're new here, if you're wondering what I'm deep conditioning with, check the description box. All the details will be down below. So, um, y'all know I like to start the week off with a positive note. So, um, I think the topic, I think all these are alleged rumors, just, you know, just to be clear. Um, but I think that the whole deal with Beyonce playing Nyla in the Lion King remake, it surfaced again. Um, I know I talk, I don't know if I talked about that or just heard about it um, a minute ago. But I'm guessing they're really close to closing the deal because, you know, the whole topic has resurfaced again. And the amount that she asked for... Um, has basically came up again and she's asking for well allegedly the deal is supposed to be for 25 million for her to play a part of Lion King I wonder what everybody else gonna get if if they are willing to pay her 25 mil um of course the 25 mil includes everything like soundtracks and anything else that she would be featured on so I guess it's basically like ugh, the sale of her as a whole um yeah, so what do y'all think? I feel like she she could totally play Nyla on the on the Lion King. I feel like she can totally pull it off because Lion, Nyla doesn't really have like that really light voice. Um and Beyonce doesn't either. I like her voice. It's like kinda like mine. Like it's not really loud or girly, really. it's just like I'm B. <laughs> that sounds horrible. But yeah, so this was in the works for um Beyonce and other um good news you know this week I feel like it was a little slow but you know your girl makes it do what it do regardless um I don't know how to pronounce this girl's last name but her first name is Yara the girl who played on Blackish the teen daughter y'all know um y'all remember when they when I announced that they gave her a spinoff um to well, her own show I think, what, what college did that girl get accepted into? The same college that um, one of the Obama girls are going to. What college is it? Howard? I believe it was Howard she's going to. But anyways, they named the spinoff College-ish at first. But I'm so happy they renamed it because that just didn't sound right. It just didn't sound right. Um, so they renamed it uh, Grownish. You know, when you go to college, everybody want to be grown. But you couldn't tell me nothing when I was in the little dorms. I was grown. I had my own place to stay. You had to answer to nobody. I was grown. So that I'm so happy they changed the name. So what do y'all think? Will y'all be watching that show or no? Nah? Okay, so let's get into the more mm, news. I said mm. <laughs> news of the week um i know i spoke about r kelly and his whole crazy um what is what is it what is it a lump i'm tripping r kelly and his whole little thing with his little cult or whatever he doing who knows um i feel like no nah, i feel like what, what are you talking about um i heard that at least four of his concerts were canceled due to um, low ticket sales and I wonder why why would that be all of a sudden hmm. Hmm. what y'all think I have no clue <laughs> my sarcasm on fleet <laughs> like hmm who knew <laughs> anyways um, I haven't really um, got in too much detail I haven't really heard a lot about this I heard one person mention it is Trina supposed to be on love and hip-hop miami or something miami 
I'm not sure. I love me some Trina boo. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> I really love me some Trina and I don't know. I don't y'all know I don't watch shows like that. Um and this I used to maybe in like in 2011, 12 ish. But I don't really too much care for them. I mean they don't hold my attention. It just it looks fake. I know it's entertaining and y'all like arguing and fighting, but I feel like it's enough of it going around. I mean, you know, it's cool though if that's what y'all want to do. It's just too much. But I wonder, because y'all know Keisha Cole just entered one. Um, and now, I don't know, if Trina's going to be on one, I hope she don't get on there and basically make, ruin her image. Because even though she's a pretty old artist, I feel like her image isn't like um, completely like in shambles. You know what I mean? So anyways... Have y'all heard about, um, I know I've talked about this before, but the Gucci Man and Keisha, um, Keisha K.O.R. doing their little special with BET. Um, I guess I'm kind of like the um, show prepping, getting ready for the wedding. And Trina, as well as Monica, is supposed to be guest appearing on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I can say this over and over again. I'm so ready to just witness this wedding. <laughs> it's like the fairy tale hood wedding that everybody from the hood <laughs> always like i don't know because we ain't listen they got a little history i don't know if y'all know but they got a little history him and keisha and i just really want to see it and the whole like 10 17 thing it's like what is 10 17 i don't know what it is do i know what it is anyway if i do i can't remember but they getting married on 10 17 at the time the wedding gonna start at 10 17 so i just <sighs> That is just some hood stuff. I don't know. I love it. I can't. <laughs> hood love, black love, all love. You hear me? I just, I don't know. I'm really excited. I was y'all like, dang, when do we get it? Like, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. I know y'all going to be watching, you know, from the trap. Okay, I'm being really freaking my head right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, the other week, well, was it the, yeah, it was the other week. I talked about the whole Usher um, ordeal with him allegedly um spreading the herpes um virus um, on to the bridesmaid of his ex-wife um so i don't because some people i mean herpes is not only transmitted through anything sexual you could be kissed on the somewhere you could be kissed in the mouth or on the cheek it i guess on the mouth as a child you that's why people don't let people kiss their kids like you can get you get cold sores as a form of herpes so just to be clear herpes i know in the report that they that um with usher usher's report it was like said he had like green stuff coming out of his heart now that's disgusting that is all but just to be clear um for anybody who's watching or anybody out there that you know does have herpes i heard that it's totally um you can live with it i mean it's not a death sentence like like people um like hiv is or aids how people um stigmatize their whole thing it's nothing like that um i heard that people because y'all know i be <laughs> listening to like podcasts and like getting you know just furthering my knowledge about it and um people who get outbreaks i've heard the people that they've interviewed on the some podcast that I listen to, I'm not digging out my nose, y'all. I'm really just scratching it. Um, yeah, so they said like they've had like two outbreaks in the course of like five or six years of having it, and I've heard that the average person have like two or three breakouts and then they basically don't have it any, not have it anymore, but they don't break out and i heard that it also can some people said that it can be because i want to further y'all knowledge of some people who just kind of just like have a uh, um look about it because you know that you just need to know you need to know especially if y'all y'all are active in, in any kind of way so yeah what was i saying oh some people said that you have to be having an outbreak in order to spread it i learned that that's not true so yeah is that my lunch? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, just to give y'all a little background, a little knowledge about that and not just ill anybody who has it because not everybody has been sleeping around. Somebody may 
um spouse or anything, somebody could have brought it to them i mean and now they gotta suffer and be looked at like that girls so that's kind of messed up too but anyways usher's wife is unbothered by the whole little thing of him and the bridesmaid she's like he she had it out for him uh all along she's basically trying to ruin his name and i don't know she's trying to blow it up maybe she wants the media attention i think that's crazy that his wife just like Girl, I think it's quite embarrassing um, because it kind of just gives people the feel of like infidelity. But this is their situation. We don't really know. Everything I talk about is allegedly. I don't know. I be reading stuff and looking at stuff just like y'all. Just like the Bobby B story. I really didn't too much follow it. It was something about him running out of a room and forgetting shoes and something like this with a transsexual I don't know y'all. I really don't know that story. Yeah. So getting on to a more sensitive story. Uh, I feel like I've talked about this several times. But some new, some new, new little uh, news came up. A uh, prodigy of Mob Deep. Um, an autopsy report was released. And it was said that the reason, the cause of death of him was him choking on the egg. The thing, the problem with that is. He was said to be vegan. Vegans don't eat eggs. Vegetarians might. Might. But I don't think vegans eat eggs. So it just kind of seems fishy to me. You know what I mean? I thought that it was due to complications of his sickle cell that he's had. But apparently not. I don't know. If y'all heard anything about that, um, leave it in the comment section. And last but not least, Instagram Karen Power came on. I need to get caught up on Queen Sugar. Don't, don't even say nothing about Queen Sugar. But Power, mm, I feel like it was a little slow this week. Um, I feel like not slow, but just rushed and not not too exciting. It, it was slick exciting. I don't know. It was, I don't know. It was just so much going on because, you know, they asked the network for um, an extra two episodes and they said no. And they tried to jam pack everything throughout the last three episodes or something. I don't know. But I feel like everything's moving so fast. It doesn't make sense how. I can tell y'all this because it's not really telling the story. It's not going in debt. Um, I don't really see how ghosts and came in like. That whole meeting, it was just like, it's supposed to have been a little bit more dramatic than that. But anyways, I'm not going to go in detail. Insecure was good, too. <laughs> it was good, too. All I got to say is pull it. <laughs> what, y'all? I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to uh, watch Insecure again. That's my show, y'all. I feel like it's just so relatable. Um, finding out somebody talk to somebody else or having your friends looking up. Yo, yeah, I got somebody that I know who don't need no last name, who don't need nothing. All she need is like, a pick, I don't know, she can pull something up real quick. So that's just who I call if I need something like that. To. But you know, I don't, be, I don't know stuff like that. But yeah, that concludes this week's Deep Condition. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. And again, if you watch this whole video and you ain't subscribed yet, what is you doing? What is you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And guess what? I will see you again next week, next Sunday. Now, it's not going to be a deep condition. Because I'll be out of town. So, I'm trying to see how I'm going to pull this off. Because I'm not... I don't know. I'm going to have a special. A special edition. Maybe you guys can leave... Um, a topic that you guys want me to address in the comment section and when you do <clears throat> when the video comes out Sunday maybe um, I could just discuss that I mean it won't be over conditioner but you know you guys will still get a video cuz I you know I want to keep I want to try to keep up so maybe it's just a topic y'all want me to address or go in and dead like a couple of questions maybe you guys have maybe it could be like an ask witty segment where you have not not too much I don't want it to be based around hair um Totally, but you know, you can ask me questions if you're having anything going on in your life. Or if you don't want to put it in the comment section, you still want me to, you want my opinion on your situation, just email helpmeprettywitty77 at gmail.com and make sure that you put in the subject line um, the deep condition so I can know that it belongs to this video because I use an email address for my um, 
vlog channel which y'all need to subscribe to if you haven't it's lit <laughs> i'm actually having a vlog special where i'm gonna have, go ahead and put it out there um for the next uh, i'm going on a vlogging spree in honor of my birth birthday so it's going to be seven seven days of vlogs seven days in a row so make sure you subscribe to pretty witty's world on youtube search that look on the sidebar it's down there you know it's mine so anyways i did too much talking thank you guys so much for watching it i will see you guys again in the next video stay tuned follow me on snapchat because i post there follow me on instagram because them stories be popping and follow me on facebook too facebook.com slash pretty witty 77 let's go see y'all later y'all